hey guys, if you're in a one, and I'm talking about the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Why? Because at an investors meeting, one of the people had this question to ask Sony. Sony's next generation console marketing compared to Microsoft software lineup introduction is a bit inferior. So towards the launch of the PS5, do you think that you have a passing grade? And if it's a passing grade, what is going well? So basically it seemed like the investor was more talking about the marketing and it is true. We've seen a lot more about the Xbox Series X than we have about the PS5. And Sony's chief financial officer, Hiroki Totoki answered with this. Well, on that point, I think results will be everything. So after the launch, it will become clear. And so we are going to make our utmost effort. Now that's such a classic answer. Don't talk about, oh no, this is better, this is better. Nothing is basically final until it comes out. And even after it comes out, there are improvements that can be made later on. So what I'm saying is that with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, it, it just doesn't even matter yet. We see the specs and yes, the Xbox Series X has a b better GPU it seems. And the PS5 seems like it may have a better SSD, but, but that's only basically on paper right now. Until these systems come out and we can actually play them, we won't know which one is really better when it comes to overall performance. Like with the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Sure, when the PS3 came out, it had stronger hardware, I believe, than the Xbox 360, like the GPU and everything. But the cell architecture was so hard to develop games for that the Xbox 360 ended up smoking it for most of the generation. It came back at the end, but for most of the generation, the Xbox 360 had that because it's not all about specs on paper. It's really about overall performance and whether people can even get games on your console and how easily and how easily third party developers can get games on your console and take advantage of your console. So in reality, Microsoft may be pushing harder and they kind of have to because the Xbox One during its generation was smoked by the PS4. So Microsoft kind of has to push harder. Sony seems more so like it's playing the waiting game. They're like, we're gonna come out at the end here or something like that. So I'm not saying which one's winning right now. I'm definitely not making that call before these two even come out. We really just need to wait and see until the console is in front of us or at least until both consoles are fully revealed. And by that, I mean like actual reveals, like Sony reveals the PS5 and shows the gameplay and we see how they look and whatnot and what games are coming for it. And the same thing with the Xbox Series X. We've gotten sneak peeks for the Xbox Series X, but we haven't really gotten a full reveal of what it can do and of like people playing it and whatnot. So we kind of at least have to wait for that before we start making these calls on which console is better in regards to overall performance. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and God bless you all.